So, first, have you, have you, have you, I know Fringy's seen this, but that is the poster for, uh, <laughs> have you seen that, Rags? This is not really, this is clearly a joke. This is some kind of a, <laughs> this is some kind of a, a meme image that was made, um, uh, the on plot, Reddit. The plot thickens, the plot thickens, Rags, trust me. <laughs> I just, like, my initial reaction was, you know, CJ's I thought was pretty pointed. He was just like, looks like a video game. And you put the PS2 symbol on top of it and stuff, and it was like, oh yeah, it looks kind of like a video game. I don't know that what the face, fuck they were thinking with the Empress face, face. That face, though, he... First off, fuck me, how is he around? Yeah, I know. That's insane that he's he fell into an exploding Death Star. I <laughs> Yeah. I just it, like if that doesn't Oh, they kill can him, there's so many ways though, wow. man. It's like clones or uh flashbacks oh, or a hologram so... recording. They're gonna fuck respect it up somehow. Is, respect's not a word they're appreciative of. He's gonna be a fucking zombie robot. <laughs> Or some shit like that, or I uploaded my brain into a computer under the ocean, or some stupid shit, and he'll come back to life, and they'll ruin it. They will ruin it. Well, it's like, you know, what characters haven't we ruined yet? Like, let's go through the list. All right, Palpatine, you're next up. Lando, yeah. you're coming up next. Yeah. We'll ruin them. They'll ruin Ewoks one day. They'll be like, you know what? Ewoks. <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, you ready for this potentially no. incredible trailer? No. No, I, no, think you mean I don't. You are. I don't think any amount of preparation will make me ready for this monstrosity of the cinema. <laughs> <laughs> I think you could argue that the yeah. first six Star Wars films are a matter of someone wanted to create, and then the new ones are someone wanted to recreate. Right. This led to completely different results. Maybe this will be the. I mean, you could argue that TLJ is a matter of someone trying to create rather than recreate, but I'd probably say, no, 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 destroy is the word you're looking for. Yeah, I was about to say it was... <laughs> I don't feel like JJ doesn't give a shit about Star Wars. Ryan Johnson doesn't give a shit about Star Wars. These are just career... These are just the next thing in their career. So, is everyone ready? <laughs> uh, yeah. Um... I like it. Fuck, it's shit. Remember Look at this Star great movie Wars. we had nothing to do with. <laughs> yeah, this great movie that we didn't make. <laughs> Remember that movie? Oh, oh man. Yeah, that's that. Look at this guy. Look at this dude. Look at he this hopeful almost... dude. <laughs> <laughs> he thought yeah, things man. are gonna work out, you idiot. Why? Okay, uh, what, are they, what are they doing? Uh, are they... They're trying to get you like, oh, remember the good shit? Really? They're just gonna cycle... Uh... Okay, like, this is... At, oh, see, guys? Look at all the good stuff, huh? Isn't this great? I, I love how, primed. like, the intended effect of this montage is, oh, this is great, but what I'm feeling is, oh, you ruined it. <laughs> you ruined it <laughs> they're, they're showing us, like, you know, we killed... We've killed... Well, they haven't killed Kenobi yet, but they might do. It's like, we got Han, Leia, Luke, uh, Millennium Falcon went down, too. It's like, let's see what else we've got. This is like a target list. Have little crosses that appear on these these people as it cycles through. I'm just trying to poison the well, bait your emotions. Oh, to that, you know, how could anyone? I actually think this is very constructed. They might have done this just because they're like, oh, people hate us right now. Uh, absolutely, absolutely, they are. They had a conversation about this in a boardroom. They definitely yeah. did. Oh, the they looked at the they looked at the cold hard numbers and were like, guys, a lot of people fucking hate Star Wars now. Thanks, right. <laughs> So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to really prime them with the shit that they liked. So go get the movies, whatever episodes they were, because I don't fucking then yeah, it's like this, footage of those. It's like this extremely robotic suit guy that, that he's like, what, what images do I collect? It's like, um, char characters. And he's like, ca characters? Uh, what, what are they? And he's like, oh, they're like, they're like these people in the movie that have like... Um, you know, like in depth sort of, <laughs> and the suit guy's like, I don't understand. Boba Fett, we'll Boba Fett. Oh, Boba. Boba. We already ruined uh, him. Chewie's not even a character. Characters who care about each other. Remember that. Uh, <laughs> characters who had arcs. I'm actually, I'm actually getting kind of annoyed. It's like, show your own content for fuck's sake. None of this is yours. We we purchased this. We used... you're, you're gonna ruin him. We use money to get to your emotions. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I Are they going to show any ruined. prequel footage? Are they going to show any prequel footage here? We passed on all we know. We passed on oh, all we know. Okay, they oh, are. they did. Oh, Darth Maul of all they things did. was first, by the way. Oh, That's interesting. Yeah. 
How telling is that? What a world we live in. Because do you remember with TFA when it came out, everybody was talking about how the prequels were essentially, you know, ignored. And it seemed that Disney were like, people made all these jokes. They were like, haha, Disney's uh, taking the good of Star Wars. They're ignoring the bad. They're not even going to recognize the prequels exist. <laughs> and as much as like, I thought that that might have been the case, I find it amusing that it's just not the case anymore. They're like, no, 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 look, prequels, you like prequels. Like, you get the sense that Disney, you don't know what Disney cares about. No. You have no idea what they're going to do next, because you have no idea about their vision. And Mace Windu over here. I'm so- what is the- what, is, what are they doing? What is this trailer? Uh, well, um, if you- have you- the synopsis <laughs> for this movie- They show- <laughs> Are they showing Force Awakens? What are you doing? <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> no, people don't know. You can't do time. that. Oh, are they really- wait, hang on a sec, are they really trying to make this be like, here it comes, it's all come to this? It's like, no one hasn't. They- they are- the synopsis for this movie is that it's the end of the Skywalker saga, which is all nine films, so they're just trying to make it seem like <laughs> no, this is what it's all been leading up to, it's and the it end. bugs me. It's the end so of the Disney fanfic, that's what on. this is. Well, the thing is, it's like, what- oh, fuck off. Just fuck off. Like, <laughs> just... Well, that's the thing, episode six is the end. It's a great end. And then it's like, no, it's, this it's is- a, I'm just waiting, right, for the one day where fucking, I don't know, Amazon gets so big that they buy the franchise, and then they make another three movies on the end of this, and they call it the real end of the Skywalker suck. <laughs> this reminds me a lot of the marketing for Dark Phoenix, where they're like, it's all been leading to this! It's like, no, it hasn't. No, shut it up. hasn't, shut up. <laughs> like, no, you didn't. You just fucking stapled this on to the end of something, and you're just well, writing- Well, it's, it's just like- if the real ending is what makes sense for an ending, so for X Men it was Logan because it ends with the characters it began with, and with Star Wars it was Episode Six because that was the end of the story. It's so interesting to compare as well because you got uh, the MCU came to its end of season, if you will, this year, and then so did Game of Thrones yeah. um, coming to the end of the series. Like, what are you gonna be Episode Nine? Are you gonna be more like Game of Thrones? Or are you gonna be more like Ed Game? In terms of audience <laughs> reception, anyway. Stop. Oh, my That's... eyes are <laughs> Stop. My eyes were closed during that sword fight. We had to close my eyes for like five seconds. You saw me. I all he needed to do, all he needed to do to win was just pull it down and stab her in the chest while she wasn't looking. It's like, well, that's the, the end the of guys, this trilogy, isn't it? And plus, you're like, the... he's like an adult, he's an adult male who's clear, very clearly chiseled and has been working out, and she's just some chick, and he can't, Scavenger. Like, just, he can't just overpower her. Malnourished. It's just... Use the force, it's fine. What Man. The fuck is this? Hey, look, they haven't completely forgotten Chewbacca. <laughs> What's going on there? I have no idea okay. what this is. It's not an army, is Fucking it? Fucking festival of some kind that's, on a desert that's planet. The thing. This could be, like, in Disney Universe, this could be an army. <laughs> Just an army of clowns. <laughs> The clown army. <laughs> Here's the thing. If you strip away the paint job, this is the army of the First Order. This right here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, this fact, is the way that they behave. Like, this is them. This is the First Order right here, just without the aesthetics. I was going to say, you're being generous, because these people seem to have organized something here. You know, this seems... Yeah, it's like they've, <laughs> built, they've <laughs> built structures to their gods or something. <laughs> They're building the Tower of Babel. <laughs> The story of a generation. I've already uh, been told you cuts. Y wing. Hey, there's Y wings. Oh shit, Y wing. Uh oh. <laughs> they got B wings too. <laughs> y wings, B wings, A wings, X wings, of course. Um, A wings, Y wings, -wing. where wings, how wings. Uh, yeah, man. Uh, all right. I'm glad they remember those exist. What? Oh my the god. Fuck? What, what the fuck is this? What? Are you shitting me? What was that? Oh, oh what? My, what is this? What is this? What the hell? What the fuck is this? Oh my goodness. Now, here's Why the thing. do you need that many Star oh Destroyers? <laughs> if what? In, a, in an alternate universe, I can understand this making sense. This makes absolutely no. How how big is the First Order? I don't do fucking you, understand. I mean, do you remember when one of these, one of these was scary? Why the hell do you need a million of them? 
Because a million I, is a million times scarier. Jesus Christ, they're all gonna get wiped out by something. Yeah, one comic yeah, hyperspace, hyperspace, one hyperspace to... through it and they're all blown up. Yeah, <laughs> oh my hyperspace God. through it, that'll kill them all. Seriously, JJ, you are unapologetically obsessed with just, his idea of raising the stakes is always to times 10. It's just control paste, copy paste, this copy is, paste, copy this paste. This looks absurd. It just this looks, looks ridiculous. What the hell? Like, in my head, I'm trying to think of a scenario where this would be a plausible thing to see. And I'm then first off, you wonder where the fuck were these things in the in last, last Jedi and in the first in yeah. the Force Awakens? Is so e remember each one of these things has how many people on it? How many TIE fighters? Oh, how thousands. Many? Don't thousands forget, don't thousands. forget it, it also has a tracking system. Every one of these has a tracking system each. They can travel through like, literally follow people through hyperspace. Like the <sighs> How can you possibly beat them? Even the Empire doesn't seem like it had this many Star Destroyers in one place at one You know what's the funny thing? The Empire didn't even need them. It didn't even need them. It needed like everyone five. everyone needed to stay in fucking line. Because every, oh. it's, it's like Rome, man. It's like Rome. They had roads everywhere. You didn't have to have an army everywhere because you knew that if you fucking pissed them off, then you'd have a Roman army at your doorstep in a few, in a few weeks. It's the same way with the Empire. A, a star destroyer is like a is like a I guess the modern day equivalent of it would be like an aircraft carrier, where mm -hmm. one of those things shows up and you're like, okay, they mean business because that's a that's a very expensive piece of equipment that can wreak havoc from untold distances. These things, you see one of them and you know the kind of the army that's inside of it, all the planes and bombers and tie fighters and ground troop. One of these things goes into orbit. You're like, okay, we get it, we get it. We're we're staying in line. In Disney World, I mean, you see one of these things and you go, oh no. Oh, ha, ha, ha. And also, <laughs> from, its, from, its, from a tactical standpoint, does it make sense to have like a thousand of the exact same identical thing? I I mean, think of how this could be so cool. Like, you have one thing I really, really like is the idea that when a ship leaves hyperspace, it's just poof, it just shows up and it's there. And you have no idea that it's coming. So imagine you're doing your thing and all of a sudden, Boom, Star Destroyer is right there in orbit and it shows up and you're like, oh, fuck. Shit's about to go down because the Empire is here for a reason. They don't just send these things for no reason at all. But now this is totally wasted. It's like the, the weight that that yeah, right. should have they is sent, just gone. It's been wasted. They sent like 14 of them plus the, um, the Supremacy, which was like 100 Star Destroyers in one after a ship with 400 people on it. In the last yeah, the scale, The scale is out of whack. I mean, because now I'm thinking like, once you mentioned the whole jumping right in, I remember the scene in Halo Reach where um you detonate the bomb on the uh, on the Covenant ship, and then you're like, oh, well, all right, we got him, good. And then it's just like, oh, slip space rupture detected, slip space, and then all these ships start popping in, and, and, and everyone's like, like, oh, fuck. this is yeah, this is the end. It's like the yeah, scale here. is clearly yeah. defined. It's over. The, the yeah. fight is over. It's lost. But, but now that wouldn't it work doesn't mean anything. If you had ten thousand Covenant ships, like yeah, stuff. I remember in Jesus. I remember reading the books and stuff. Like when the Covenant show yeah. up, it's a big deal. The tone changes entirely. It, everyone, it's not about fighting. It's about how can we run away, scraping together whatever survivors we can. Like you're not mm -hmm. even uh, like here's the thing. Once a Star you're Destroyer shows up, you should be. This isn't about fighting a battle. This isn't about inflicting damage. This is about how can we get away with as many people surviving as possible but in this it's like fuck it well look at this is the crazy well, thing so you'd be like well we've lost it's like no actually uh, there's a lot of ways they could still easily win <laughs> like oh <laughs> so why the hell oh, does it even matter funny. at this point if oh, there was literally goodness. one billion star destroyers would we care it's like no not really oh, oh they have another diversity car wait what the She's fuck evil, evil evil c3po like what <gasps> what evil c3po what <laughs> <laughs> uh, Where the fuck was this the last two movies? What the hell's going on with his eyes? <laughs> I am yeah. Oh, is that, I a, guess, is that, that a Death Star laser? I don't know. I where was this the last two episodes? I can't why, wait to see another see super chips? weapon because that's all JJ knows how to do. Why didn't they use this ever? I'm sure it was just created. I'm sure they just oh, finished okay. it. Wow, she trained hard. Uh, oh, that's the Emperor's voice, isn't it? Yeah, it sounds like him. That's... Oh, why the fuck? Yeah, they're gonna fight for sure then. I can't wait. I yeah. cannot wait. Yeah. It's gonna be so good. Yes, it 
it's in. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh. What the fuck? <laughs> what? What the? What the hell did I just see? It was like a nunchuck lightsaber. <laughs> what like the hell? Okay, so first of all, uh, why does that look? Gray. Does that look fake to anyone else? Like a Photoshop? It does kind of look like a Photoshop. It's hard. It, yeah, it doesn't look real. Why would I want uh, a lightsaber me... that has two sharp points on the same end? It's like. I why feel like it's why would you? It looks so dangerous as well. The fact that it's like a nunchuck. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, just like... I want to get the wide shot. Oh, what the I'm, fuck I'm is happening? I'm, I'm going to the original. The deposit here. What the hell? <laughs> this has to be like a you know a nightmare flash forward thing. This cannot- I cannot oh. believe for a second that this is- Why would they even show this? Like, if it was what? real. She just flicks it. I'm Darth Maul, remember Darth Maul? I feel like that's why they showed us Darth Maul now, it's like, in case people forgot, this is the cool thing you guys like. What the hell, seriously. Unbelievable. Oh my goodness. I'm so... so depressed. <laughs> what the- Ray is just Darth Maul now. Okay. Oh, by the way, so that tie interceptor we saw earlier, that- Seems to be Kylo's, because he's walking away from it at mm -hmm. around 1.32. And, and Ray's going to kick his ass, of course. Oh, she, absolutely. She has to. If she doesn't, that's the thing. They've already, she's already beaten him fucking twice. Well, it's not going to make sense uh, if, if he beats her, but what if he beats her and she becomes evil or some shit? I don't know. What the hell are they going for here? Fuck it. Just do it. Just do something. Do something interesting. It's going to be shit. Why so would he have just a lightsaber that has two pointy ends that, that you can swings then out. To make it a double lightsaber? I mean, what good is that? That seems so dangerous. One misdirected thing and you're dead. And you cut yourself I in half. I do not understand this. Oh, this is such a... I mean, my original character, please do not steal. Yeah, it feels like... It feels like that, doesn't it? It's just... How are... So... Ray can't possibly turn evil. They're not going to do that. They're not going to be like, "Oh yeah, Ray was a bad guy." Also, the if they is, and if they did it, it wouldn't make any sense. Like how, how with all that we have, Ray's too pure. Mm -hmm. it, she's the thing too is, is, um, I get the impression that what they're trying to lead to, or maybe this is what they have to do now because of the Last Jedi. It's like, oh, you see, they're both as bad as each other. They're both flawed. And then it's going to be the moral of like, oh, fucking both, you know, go right down the middle. That's the right way to go. That seems good. Yeah. The fascinating thing. This. The fascinating thing about Ray is that if she chose to do anything, I wouldn't even know why, because I don't know what what are her values. Why is she here? We've got two movies, and it's I don't even know do what she things. wants. Exactly. Bad, doing bad things. Bad, and so bad, is it going to be that she's like, I have to be red. To uh, I'm sorry, what is the context for this? Can you- what do you guys think is the most likely context for this shot? For um, Darth Maul Ray? Yeah. Uh, Dream sequence. But I'm- I feel like that's too obvious. Everybody I was gonna say, like, they've already kind of right? done that shit. Like, I, I'm trying to think yeah, of- I, I feel like it's gonna be some, like, like a glimpse into an alternate future. Or like a glimpse into what could have been or something like that. And I think I that's Palpatine's probably Palpatine's gonna- Palpatine's yeah. gonna infect the minds of a character. Maybe Kylo, maybe Rey, maybe Chewbacca, who the fuck knows. And this is gonna be like, this could have been the future. It's like, this is the plan. It's like, this is the world I'm trying to create or some, something like that. And you see Rey's face and oh, she's got a special lightsaber. Because uh, it's not just enough that she's evil. Ooh, she got a double nunchuck lightsaber. Oh, oh man. I mean, the, the world is... I don't understand this world anymore. I don't understand who the players are and what they want. Whereas in the all Republic the other one? movies, what is... well, the first order has even... no identity. In the in the You're you know in the prequels, it's if, like the first order's gotta... entire policies revolve around we have to kill the, the rebels. That's it. <laughs> like, at least the Empire exactly. ran a we government. Have, we have to kill the rebels. It's like, but the rebels are just here to fight against you. But it, it's. This world is a well, mess. Is, well, you know, it's like, do you do anything else? And if Snoke, if Snoke's dead, who's been putting the policies in place? Who's been, you know, ruling the galaxy? What's, what's, what's up? What's number two. The thing is, is like, with the other movies, it always felt like there was more going on 
in the universe beyond what was happening with just the main characters. It always felt like there yeah. was a universe beyond the, the 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 main story that we saw. Whereas here, it's like it doesn't feel like this is a galaxy. It only, it was yeah, like it a, only exists. Anything that you see only exists because it needs to for the scene we want to have. Yeah, it, it exists like to revolve around place. the main characters. It's all yeah, about like the even, main character. Even Canto Bite. Like that's not a place that it's even real. It's not. It's not it a real place. Real, it's right? not. Coruscant yeah, it's not a place real. out there. Yeah. Tatooine awesome. feels real. Yeah, Coruscant's great. I mean, and even Where, like what's uh, happening Camino, in Coruscant right now. Oh, dude, I would love to know what's happening on I Coruscant. I would love would, would, to know. Would you guys love what? Disney to go to Coruscant? It's like, uh, I don't know. Uh, I just, yeah, you know, I just like think of in your head, like with the state of the universe, the galaxy as it's in right. What is happening on Coruscant? Where yeah, is the I mean, Republic like, headquarters? Would it be neat it to know to what the people think about all of this nonsense? Oh, oh! If I could warp into this universe and just ask people on the street, "Hey, so, what do you think about like the Republic?" and they'd probably say, "The what?" Which ones are they? <laughs> like, no, no, we're run by a territorial governor. Like, oh, like Warhammer. It's like, yeah, whatever that is, sure. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd be like, oh, I just don't even. I don't even. That's the thing. You have you have universes like Warhammer. Right, 40k, which are so well detailed, and there's so many rules, and there's so much world building, and it's just it's also <clears throat> structured, and you know what exactly what the fuck's going on. And then you look at Star Wars, and you're like, what the hell is even going on? Um, I think it's just Star Wars. You never know with these. How can he rise? Just... He's dead. You no, just, just, you just know what it means. Palpatine's back. Palpatine's back. Palpatine's back. It's, re it's referencing what? Anakin. Apparently he, he is in this Darth film, Vader. by the way. We heard Darth Vader breathing. Well, that's, what people, that's what people eat up so often. Oh, look! Wow! That's cool! All of those Star Destroyers in the mist? Wow, that's incredible! I can't wait to see that, even though it makes just... It's just... It spits in the face of everything. That's where we're at, folks. <laughs> I am so... Depressed. Man, that was worse than I thought it was going to be, to be honest with you. Like, I, I did think, not I think, uh, yeah. expect Evil 3PO, Army of Star Destroyers, or Evil Ray. And that lightsaber. I Obviously, was not expecting. <laughs> I knew that Kylo and Ray were going to have a fight again, but seeing it was kind of like, yeah, yeah, yeah. The dramatic location. Ugh. Yeah, I know. That's, that's the other thing, right? It has to. At first, they were in like this snowy forest that was getting destroyed. Second time, they were on a Star Destroyer that was split in half, or a Supremacy that was split in half in a room that was on fire against an army of people, and now they're on what looks to be a, a ship on a waterfall that looks extremely dangerous. Like, of course, because imagine they just fought in a room. <laughs> and look at, and then you look at um, the Empire Strikes Back, Luke and Vader's fight. They were just hallways. It wasn't about the location. The only thing that was really interesting was at the very end in the, you know, in the pit. It was environmental it was interaction, but it wasn't like a movie playing in the background, if you know what I mean. It reminds me of like Mortal Kombat. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Like the environment I mean, exists, they... it's there, but you're fo you should be focused on the characters I th and I think, their um, interaction. I think the way that I would view it is uh, in the original f films, it's like... If it were like a video game, it would be like a boss fight, a fully interactive boss fight where you can interact with the environment, but you still are playing like it were the way that it was supposed to be. And yeah. all and these the new ones set like pieces feel like a uh, time event. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, Ray's even about to attack Kylo, the, press X. Like, even whoa. the Phantom Menace knew how to do this right. Even in the Phantom Menace with Darth Maul, they were fighting in like you know, a place, like a normal place. <laughs> yeah, massive power generators and hallways and... And yeah. then they actually found creative ways to use the space to set up interesting scenarios, like having all the things block them off so that, you know, Obi-Wan couldn't get to Qui-Gon before he got killed, or um, in uh, the, the fight with Yoda and Palpatine in the, you know, the Senate, using the chairs and throwing them at each other. It's like, oh, that's good shit. Remember when this was good? <laughs> Uh, who kn who knows what what else we're gonna be getting? Because this is the thing, man. To reveal Ray as like evil, I'm just like, so that's probably a, just a bait then, because they wouldn't want to reveal something like that, would they? Well, I mean, how 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 much how much do they they need to show to get people back and watch? Because how many people aren't gonna watch it? How many people have they lost? You know, like 
discounting the people like us who are masochists and are going to watch it anyway just also, to I'm, see uh, I'm still how curious many people they lost. If it's literally going to be Star Wars Episode Nine, the retcon of The Last Jedi like as a whole. Because the fact that Rey might even be evil is just a retcon too, because her whole thing at the end of the previous film was like, how are we going to rebuild and become, you know, a powerful good force again? It's like, I don't know, become evil. <laughs> we'll see, I guess. <sighs> Rip Star Wars.